Hi everyone and welcome. Today I'm doing a review of a game that we enjoy called Labyrinth. This is a Ravensburger game for two to four players ages 8 to 99 so I think you'll fit in and um, actually it says one to four. I guess you could play by yourself. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, it's just a really fun game with a lot of strategy and problem solving going on. So I'm going to show you how to play. Okay, so how do we play Rat Labyrinth? Well, when the board comes out of the box, it actually looks more like this, where there are glued on tiles and then there are spaces. And then these four are glued on and there's an empty space, these four are glued on, empty space, and these four are glued on. So some don't move, but the rest of them move. So when you're setting it up, you just randomly place these on here with no rhyme or reason. And you get them all on there. And how did that happen? There's one left. This is what your starting player uses to start the game. The car, there's a deck of cards that have pictures on them that match the pictures on the board. So there's the princess, there's the ring, somewhere there's a candelabra, you'll probably find them quicker than I do, spider, and beetle. Okay, and so, and the sword. So my player is green, and green has these all turned face down. This one is face up, and so their mission, should they choose to accept it, is to get from here to the sword. And the sword is on an unmovable space, so there's, there's no moving the sword closer. This guy, this, this player right here, has to go to there. So, how do they do that? That's a good question. What they're going to do is take a look at the board, and take a look at their options and move a row pushing it through with this extra card that was left over. So with that one move, green can now get all the way to, uh, I think I'm going to stop, now I'm going to go to there. So that's green's move. And so then this card comes out and goes to red, who is the next player, because play goes to the left. Red is trying to get to the crown. And how can we get red to the crown? Maybe red wants to go this way and can get that far. And pushed this card off, which goes to yellow. Yellow is trying to get to the Bigfoot ghost, which is here. Oh dear. Um, one of the things is they don't have to move on what they push. So yellow can get to here. Oh, let me do this. So I'm going to push this one this way which gets yellow. I'm not going to go there because that goes up. I'm going to stop there. Yeah. And that pushed this one off, which goes to blue. Blue's trying to get to the skeleton ghost, which is, I don't know where it is. Um, oh, it's under the yellow. Okay, so blue's trying to get to there. So... What can we do with you, Blue? Not a lot. Oh, I see. I'm going to push this one this way. And that's going to take Blue to there. And they can both be on the same space. That doesn't matter. Now it's Green's turn again. The only move that Green can't do, because Blue pushed that way and knocked this one off, the only move that Green can't do is push back. So that would be an illegal move. So green, what's green trying to get to? The sword. Hmm. Oh, so green is going to come up here and push this way. 
which is going to get green to there. I'm not going to go there because if somebody else came along and pushed that way, if green was there and somebody pushed that way and, th and this card went off, green would have to come back to here. And that is not what green wants to do. <laughs> so I'm going to put green there and then we'll see what happens in the following moves um, for green to get to the sword. So now it's red's turn again. Red is trying to get to there. Red wants that piece right there to get to the crown. Yay! So now red gets the point for the crown and turns up the next card, which is the helmet, which is over here. So now red's got to get from here to the helmet. So there's a certain amount of strategizing here. If, um, for instance, let's say green needed to get to the skull. So green doesn't need anything here to move to get to the skull. So green could, on green's next move, green could look at what yellow's trying to do and make a move, an offensive move against the other players rather than trying to, to do their own, getting to their own. Do you see what I mean? So if, if, Let's see, I just had yellow go. So now it's actually um, Blue's turn. So if Blue could get to their ghost, which they can't. But let's just say, f for instance, if Green's move set it up so that Blue could get where they needed to be then blue could focus on making a move somewhere else on the board that messes up somebody else. So there's a little bit of offensive strategy that can be done um, if things fall into place well. But really, the first player that gets through all their cards and claims each of, each of their cards by visiting it on the board and then gets back to their home base wins the game and it really is it's it's a simple game it's a fun game it's a quick game that all ages like i said the the box says from 8 to 99 you could probably go a little bit younger than that you might have to help them a little bit but it's really a simple game it's not a heavy thinking game um so it's really nice when you just want to play a game but you're not up to the heavy lifting so have you played Labyrinth? I would love to hear in the comments if you have any experience with Labyrinth. We really enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it too. And that's all for now. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.